Hi, Tom here with Imagine Form again, and today I want to show you how to turn your CNC router into a plotter. Uh, I came up with a real simple way to make a marker holder that fits in your tool holders. Um, I'll show you how to make it, and I'll also have them available if you want, but they're super easy to make, um, and I'll show you how it works. All right, so this is all it is. Um, this is a little piece of foam rubber uh, that I cut out with a punch. This, this acts as a spring. Um, in here, I've got a little Sharpie marker from Home Depot. They're just little, little short Sharpie markers. This here is a piece of acrylic tubing, 5 8 OD with an eighth inch wall that fits in any 5 8 collet you have. I've got uh, ER32 collets here, so it just fits in there. You can snug it down. And uh, this here is just a rubber end cap from the master car and add a half inch punch and punch the half inch hole in the end. So that goes on there with the marker cap off, slides in, snaps past there and holds it. And then with this in your collet, this butts up against the back of your collet and it acts as a little spring. So you're not smashing your marker into the table. Um, that's it. It's super simple. I use it all the time for marking out parts. If I'm cutting a bunch of parts, I'll run this first, label all the parts, and then cut them out. And that way you're not sitting there trying to figure out what part's what. All right, I got the tool in there. You can just take the marker, the cap off, it slides up, snaps into place. Okay, the next thing I do is zero the tool. So I'm going to bring it down to the table here. And just when it touches the table, I'm going to go maybe another 10, 20 thou, so it's got some pressure down. And then I'm going to call that zero. So just zero the Z, Z zero, bring it back up. My X, Y zero, set there. All right, going to load the program. And we'll see what happens. See how the marker responds. It's got a little down pressure to it, but if the material wasn't completely flat, it would still be able to move up and down with it. And the markers last surprisingly long. And there you go. That's the super cheap and easy marker holder. I'll post the links to the parts and maybe a little drawing. And if I end up putting them on Etsy or something, I'll post that there too. All right, thanks for watching.